Split with the complimentary plays on Saturday, cashing in with Milwaukee and extra innings on the run line, but losing with Cincinnati against Washington. Today, two more complimentary plays for this Sunday video. I'm going to take a look at the Sunday night game between the Yankees and the Red Sox and return to the scene of the crime, that Washington-Cincinnati series. Let me just apologize in advance for my voice as it hurts like hell to talk today after having two root canals and a dental implant on one side of my uh, mouth. Believe me, it hurts like hell to even consider wanting to shave here for a couple of days. But uh, listen, in case you missed yesterday's video, let me just remind you once more. Today, once again, repeating, the single biggest discount coupon of the entire year. It happens only twice a year. And one of those times, right now, 30% off your entire purchase price. 30%. It goes today. I do it now, and I do it right before the start of the college football season, usually right at the end of August or the first weekend in September. And I also do it now, and I do it these two times strategically to reward you, the most loyal of customers, for your patronage. Because so many people leave and they stop gambling, and I understand why. I think they're foolish right after the Super Bowl. So many others leave right after March Madness, and I get it. But those of you that are gambling right now, you're like me. You realize how easy it is to make money through not only the NBA playoffs, but especially in baseball, because it gives you an opportunity to make money in the easiest sport there is to make money in, and to accumulate a bankroll at somebody else's expense your bookmaker. So when football rolls around in September, you're playing with somebody else's money. It's an easy sport to make money. I know it's the dog days of summer. I know a lot of handicappers don't even care about the sport and they take the summer off. They hang up that placard that says they've gone fishing. They're fools. You know it as well as I do. So it's my way of rewarding you for your loyalty and your patronage. It's a mix and match coupon. It's good for any handicappers, picks, and or packages. The only limitation is you've got to put everything in your shopping cart at one time. If you happen to have a long-term package with a particular handicapper, and let's say you have 10 days left with Jack Brayman, you want to buy another 60 days. That means you will then have 70 days in your package as the previous 10 is added to the new 60. You get 30% off your new purchase, and if you have any instant rebates, they are applicable as well. If you have any questions, you can always contact customer service. Again, I do it now, and once more, right before the beginning of college football season. Why do I do it then? I don't even wait to do it before the beginning of the NFL, because that's when everybody else comes back. Sorry, my site, my rules. I reward those that are always sticking through thick and thin. Now, uh, today, the NBA playoffs, uh, the two guys that have been hottest throughout the postseason, Jack Brayman and um, Bob Valentino, they are on opposite sides of tonight's game. I just wanted to give you a little heads up here. So if you have a package with one, you know who the other guy has here tonight. Uh, I decided to discount. Oh, God, that hurts. I decided to <laughs> discount. Don't want to smile. I decided to discount Brayman today. Uh, because he hasn't had 100 dime max wager play in a while, but it's 100 dime uh, basketball winner number 72 out of 116 overall, uh, 100 dime winner 49 out of 80 overall in all sports. And listen, the bottom line is, it's his NBA playoff winner number 21 out of 32. It's the half price play of the day, going for winning day number nine out of 11 on the short term, 51 out of 78 over the long term. This is a guy who has made $10 betters, a little over $27,600 over the past 433 days. That's like a 14 month period. Hell, over the past 77 days, he's made those $10 betters almost $11,900, almost 12 grand. You get it for half price today using coupon code Jack. But again, remember, he and Valentino are on opposite sides of today's game. Now, let's get to your complimentary plays. I'll do these in reverse chronological order. Uh, the Yankees are just playing some great ball right now. I mean, a great month of May. They've won 18 of their last 23 at home. They're 2-0 and this weekend in the series against the Sox. They're 4-0 and in the season series overall. Uh, the Red Sox are going with David Price. Now, David Price has pitched exceptionally well in his last four starts. 
but it's David Price, and it's the Yankees. You know, bad things happen when David Price faces the Yankees. Uh, need I remind you, last year, four starts against him, his earned run average was over 10. Since joining the Red Sox, David Price has made 11 starts against the Bombers, and they have bombed him. An earned run average of 7.71 a record of 2-7. and seven. I know David Price turned uh, his postseason story around last year for the Red Sox, but he hasn't turned around that story that has been written so far with those terrible chapters facing the Yankees. So I'm willing to bet against him once more. Plus, the Yankees are like a $1.10 underdog here, and they've been hitting the hell out of the ball despite all their injuries. And the Red Sox offense has been here today some days not here. You know what I mean? Uh, Yankees are going with CC Sabathia, who's attempting to win his 250th career game, which speaks more about his longevity than I think than his success, really, as a great pitcher, just my personal opinion. Uh, but the fact is that he has won, uh, the team has won all four of his home starts this season, and he's got a 1.71 earned run average in them. And even though he's coming off the injured list because he had to be sidelined a couple weeks ago because his right knee was acting up on him once more, fact is, do they really need more than five innings out of him with that great bullpen and the depth that they have coming out in relief? No. So I'm going to go with the Yankees here plus money. Uh, the other play, I was wrong with Cincinnati yesterday, so let's make amends and go with Washington today. I know the Nationals are 2-10 and ten and Max Scherzer starts this season, but it's gambling. Things are going to turn around sooner or later. And it's not like Scherzer has been pitching poorly. I mean, my God, in six May starts, he had a 2.37 earned run average. But at times, the Nationals didn't hit. And at other times, their bullpen, well, it's been a fire sale all year long. Uh, lifetime, he's 4-1 and one with a 2.21 earned run average in six games against the uh, Reds. Uh, the, uh, the Nationals won yesterday 5-2. They have won six of their last eight games, and it's feast or famine for the Nationals. In the six wins, they've scored 50 runs. In the two losses in that eight-game stretch, they've scored five. Uh, they have, however, won nine of their last ten at the Great American Ballpark. Uh, they've won 17 of the last 23 overall in the series. And Sonny Gray has won his last two starts, winning at home against the Pirates and at, at Milwaukee, but... He's still got a 4.18 earned run average, pitching in six home starts this season. Washington's cheap. I mean, Washington's minus $1.20 in this game. Some places as low as $1.15. So I will go with the Nationals in this game. The Yankees and the Nationals, your two free plays for Sunday. Good luck, everybody. I'll talk to you again.